say Nolo can develop websites and web applications, and you really can. You know how a lot of platforms, web frameworks, will be like, oh, we're only for which internet application. There's Nolo, and we really believe that you can use it for both websites and rich internet applications. So what I'm going to start off with is from going from websites to rich internet applications. So we'll start off with uh, mddev.com, and you can see that this looks like a website. It functions like a website. I can click on features. It's only you know there there there's some animation, but it looks and feels like a conventional website. And then I can go I'll go to nolo.com, uh, and this is an internal version. And you can see that it looks and feels like a website, but there are things like our change log, for example, that uh, you know that I can click on particular versions. This is somewhat of a hybrid between your website and uh, and web application. And you can also see that in our administration when we have edits. So since Nolo is completely object oriented, it's actually very easy to to implement edit in place in your site so your sites can have built-in CMSs so for example here you can see that it can do edit edit and I could just make an edit and I could save or I could you know I could I could move this and I could press cancel and it'll go back and you just see that you can very quickly uh, get a nice hybrid but between a website and a web application there's another example here of the protectornetwork.com. Uh, they use Nolan actually uh, won a new media award for their site here. So you can see I can click on, you know, I can navigate, I can click on home and, and, and whatnot. And this is a website, but it has a web application feel to it. There's eCrime tools, which again is this very interesting thing where it's um, it it feels like a web application. Click on tools. I'm sorry, but the internet's a little slow here in this conference. Uh, you can go who is, who was. I, I I can navigate between the other sections. I can go back to tools, and you'll see here that I can just click on a code sample. I can just diff it. And I'll get a side-by-side -side diff of the code. You see, I can scroll and I get over, scroll over here, and I can click to maximize, and I'll get a maximized view of the code. And and this feels like an application. I can go to CAG Agency Locator, which is a application by CIG that allows people to find their insurance branches. I can just go. This and I'll do a search, and it'll, it, it'll 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 find agencies that are nearby. And you see that it uses Google Maps, and I can click on um, I can hover over these various agencies, and it'll just move the map there. And so this is more of an application. And I got a NoteCard.com, which is a very interesting application. It 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 looks and feels like a complete application not like a website not like the hybrids I've been showing you and you see yeah, that I can open up what we call file boxes and I can click on cards and you know I can click on these various index cards and I'll get these index cards and hey, the internet connection is a little terrible here but you see that you know this will look and feel and functions like an application I really want to emphasize the the real magic is the ease of which these applications are developed. There, it's really orders of magnitude easier to maintain than with other methods. So I'm now going to show you 